Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Nick White. Do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, do all the Lee code stuff. So if you want to do Lee code, check out my other videos. Um, this is just the explore page, which helps you like learn like everything you need to know pretty much. It gives you like good tutorials. Uh, so binary search is one of the most easy and commonly used algorithms in like all these problems and in interviews it might be one of the first things you're asked it's one of the first things you learn in class um, so given an assorted in ascending order integer array nums and n elements uh, in a target value write a function to search for target and nums so yeah basically you're just given an array of numbers like this one, negative one, zero, three, yeah, 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 you get it? And then you're given a number that you want to look for, and you just return the index that it's at, so zero, one, two, three, four would be nine. Um, and if you don't find it, then you return negative one. So it's pretty easy. Binary search is just searching the middle. So it's like when you look for someone in a of a page in a book, you open in the middle, and then you, you know, keep opening in the middle. Uh, so let's just write this. So if nums.length is equal to zero, we're just going to return negative one. We're not going to be able to find it because the array is like the length of it is zero, so there's nothing in the array. Um, and then otherwise, we're just going to have our left bounds is 0, and our right bounds is equal to nums.length minus 1. So the beginning and ending indices, and we're going to have our main loop. So while left is less than or equal to right, uh, we're just going to do calculate our midpoints. So the middle of the array is going to be equal to left, our left boundary, plus our right minus left boundary, just to be accurate. And then we have our conditions here. So if our nums of midpoints, if the middle of our array is equal to the target, so first place we're going to search is directly in the middle, if that's equal to what we're looking for, then great. We're just going to return the midpoints. Uh, and let's actually add brackets. And midpoint will be the index. So perfect. Else if nums of midpoints is greater than target, that means that the target's going to be on the left side, because binary search only works on sorted arrays, guys. Um, so that means, yeah, nums of midpoints greater than the target, so we're going to want to keep going on the left side. So we're going to get rid of the right side. So to get rid of the right side, we're going to make our right bound equal to midpoint minus 1. That'll eliminate the whole right side of our search base, and then we're, it's basically just cutting the array, the search base, in half each loop through this while loop. Else, we're going to do left equals left is equal to midpoint plus one, because that would mean that we're going to go on the right side. And that's pretty much it. And then you just do a return negative one if you can't figure out any of that. So, submitted it, accepted, first try, there we go. Really easy, simple. There's a lot of talking around me because there's I'm in a library, but uh, yeah, that's binary search. You're just searching the middle of the array eliminating the half that it won't be on each time because it's sorted so you know that when you search the middle in if if your target is less than the middle it's going to be on the left side so you can just delete everything on the right and keep going on the left and uh in a sorted array this is going to be a way faster way to find what you're looking for than you know a linear scan where you go through every element because instead of you know looking if you're looking for the number 10 in a 10 element ar array and it's sorted, binary search, you're going to go 5, you know, 8, and then 10 or something like that, 5, 7, 10 or something. Um, and in a linear scan, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a lot faster in some cases. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys later.